Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to the factory of JMA Wireless here in Liverpool, New York. Hang with me, we're gonna give you a walkthrough and let you get an inside look at how these products are produced with absolute quality in this ISO certified factory. Come on, let's take a walk. Hey, we're here at the receiving dock at JMA Wireless Factory in Liverpool, New York. Behind me are tons of brass in different size bars that we process literally weekly here to produce the gold standard in the industry's connectors for the wireless industry. I'm gonna get you an opportunity to walk you through the processes of how we carve away some 90% of these bars, wash away that 90%, turn it into recycled brass, while we take the remaining and produce it into very, very precise components that produce that industry's gold standard and connectors. All right, so here we are at one of 17 highly precise CNC machines, milling machines, that will create these connectors from the bar. You can see the team loading some of these bars into the system right now. This is one of those milling machines. Milling machine actually starting to carve away the components and creating a lot of different elements of this brass that is then washed in a centrifuge. We're gonna take a moment now and we're gonna go in and actually look at some of the milling so you can get a feel for some of the specs and, and some of the details of how these parts are made. Let's take another walk. So here we are where the actual bar stock is milled into a connector component. These are done to exacting specifications down to a 30th of a human hair. So it's very, very precise in its milling capabilities. Now, this process we're looking at here goes from that bar stock you saw to a milled component all the way to a tested and washed component ready to be plated without being touched by human hands. You'll notice here the milling machine goes over to an area over my head. You can see the conveyor is actually taking that milled component over. And if you look over here, we've got a robotic arm that grabs that component puts it onto a test spindle, and then measures that component to make sure it meets our exacting specifications. Once that's validated, then the robotic arm takes it, puts it into a bin that prepares it to go through a wash cycle. This gets all that oil film off used during the milling process and gives us a final part ready to go be plated to be put into the final connector. Let's take a walk through some of the other sections and we'll start to show you how these things start to come together into a final product. One of the other critical metals used in our connectors is copper. And this milling machine produces some 20,000 components that are used in our connectors every week. Now, those components are milled with high precision. And as a result of that, copper that has precise edges have to pull, flow out of that milling machine. And you'll see the conveyor here very slowly, very gently into a washing basket. So here we have numerous connectors still with a lot of oil on them before they go into a washing phase that we'll walk through and we'll show you how these are connected. Again, 20,000 of these every week produced and we're gonna walk you through some of the other areas where different components are milled to precision and these come together as a complete connector. So one of the key strengths we have is the ability to have very fast cycle times on these machines. I mentioned earlier we have 17 different CNC machines so we can do a lot of variations of component milling and, and CNC capabilities. Now, you'll notice on all of our machines we use an oil filtration system. This is for recovery of all the oil that is used that pools during the milling process and it keeps and retains a lot of that oil stuff from being in our plant and from going out into the environment. So it's very important for us to make sure we keep that recovery going. These machines, of course, are lined up and very, very precise. We also have over here one of our latest machines, which allows us to do about five times the speed at milling over here. All of these machines use multiple turrets or multiple heads, so they're very fast at moving parts in and out and milling components at very high rates of speed. This gives us A, the flexibility, B, the power to move components through at a very, very high rate, change up the different components we need to build for different types of connectors to meet our customer needs. Let's move along to see how all these components that come out get cleaned and ready to go into a final connector. So every part that goes into a connector has to be thoroughly washed in preparation to go into the assembly phase. 
Uh, remember, some of these parts are extremely small. Some of them are much, much larger. Now, to do that process, you'll see here that the parts can move into our washing machine. These washing machines are very automated. You'll see trays of connectors here, and those trays of connectors have known different types of parts in them. As those baskets automatically move into the washer, the washer is programmed to wash the, those parts in a certain way. This means adjusting the spray, oscillating, turning the baskets 360 degrees to get a very, very clean part as it comes out of there. One of the things you'll notice is unique about these kind of machines is the operator can line up the different baskets of parts. We can start the operation. It knows how to go in and wash those parts in that very specific programmed way. And then it'll take those baskets of parts out and move them down in the line and prep for going into the next phase of this process. So this is a way where every part has to come through, be clean and ready for the next process. Let's go take a look at some of the inventory and then we'll look at final assembly. So we're here where all the raw materials that go into the assembly, so these are all these parts that came off the line of the milling machines and the washing machine to be ready to be assembled in connectors. And I'm here with Terry Kennedy, our quality manager. Terry, you know, a lot of these parts that come off the line and they're washed are one color, and I noticed some of the parts, and you, you have one with you here, are a totally different color because they're tri-metal coated. What, what is tri-metal coating? What is that made up of? Well, brass tends to oxidize, Todd, so we put trimetal alloy, which is copper, zinc, and tin. It goes through a thousand hours of sulfide testing to ensure uh, customer reliability. Excellent. Now, trimetal coating, oxidation, I mean, this is, this is, will impact performance in the field, and obviously for us and our customers, the tin performance and stuff is, it, it gets impacted by corrosion and oxidation. Now, do we do testing once this? How do we validate that what we try metal coated with actually is gonna work? So it goes through complete engineering, verification, and validation. All of our suppliers that supply tri-metal to us are have to go through PPAP qualification. Okay. Have to go very stringent qualifications as far as plating thickness, plating adhesion, and make sure not only is it functional, but it looks well, pretty as well. It is a pretty looking connector. So what you're seeing here is some extreme quality measures, uh, again, Everything as part of this process is to create very, very high precision in these components and to um, have them designed in such a way where they will last in the field forever. Um, this is great stuff, Terry. I appreciate you joining us today and we're gonna take a walk over and look at the assembly process now. So great. thanks for Thank you very much, I appreciate it. So one of the very important and final steps in creating connectors for our customers is the final assembly of all these components. Some 20 plus components make up a single connector and they have to be put together in a very precise way. As you can see behind me, we use up to 10 different assembly lines like this where we provided automated uh, systems to compress all the components together and to make that connector. You can push out a lot of components on this line. Now, one of the things you see over here is a number of those raw components and with me is Sabrina, who's one of the team leads for this area. And Sabrina, when we assemble these components out of a line like this, how many can come out of here? 300 parts come out per hour on the hour, automated 300 machine. parts per hour. And of those parts that come out of here, are these parts then finalized for the yes. customer? It's finalized, it looks like this, and it's actually finalized and ready to go to the customer. So this package right here that you have is a sealed package, ready to go. I noticed we have some other components in there. Um, it has an instruction sheet and an alcohol pad. The instruction sheet is for the, the workers on the Probably. towers, so when they know what exactly they gotta use, and the alcohol pad is so they have to clean the cable before they Course, connect yeah. our connector. So ready to go ready inside to go. of each connector. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we are with the final product. What you've seen us take tons of bar stock, move it through a very, very precise milling process and produce the final product for our customers out there to give them maximum mobile wireless experience. Thank you, Sabrina. You're welcome.